So we know that our curves are either expressed by our degree of curvature or our radius. Um, you don't usually see uh, a curve being um, talked about in terms of D. It's more talked about in terms of R, radius. Um, that's what you usually see, uh, seeing things. But the, the D does come into play here, especially in the United States, um, because we measure in feet. Um, they're inversely related. Uh, R again being radius, it's got a, it's going to be small in terms of the sharp curve. Then the corresponding D is going to be typically large. If you have a large radius or a flat curve, the D is going to be small. Uh, so we have two different definitions for computing degree of curvature. The first one's going to be arc definition, second chord definition. Arc probably being the more common of the two, um, but we do have the two. Um, the uh, Horizontal curves, when you define them by arcs, uh, you can see this is how we are going to do that. Um, or I'm sorry, by chords or arcs. So in A is the arc definition, B is the chord definition. So here, let me get my drawing tool. Nope, my hand tool. So here's the arc definition. You can see we're defining that by the uh, arc length of 1,000 feet. The chord definition, again, is just going to be the chord from the PC to the PT as 100 feet, so that's the chord definition. <clears throat> that degree of curvature is the central angle uh, that's going to be subtended by an arc of 100 feet. Um, so that's how much the direction the the direction changes along the, curve, the length of the curve, or again, how sharp or flat. Uh, when we're looking at the arc definition, or D sub A, uh, the circumference of a circle is the same, bears the same relationship to 360 degrees as a 100-foot arc does to a degree of curve, and it's related by the following proportion. I know I kind of read that verbatim, um, but that's the definition. So these are the equations. Uh, again, it's, it's simple plug and chug in terms of, in most cases here, uh, but it's important to know where this stuff, uh, this stuff is. Okay, so here's another uh, representation of arc definition. Um, so this is just showing us the arc definition uh, along a curve, and that's that 100-foot distance traveled along. Um, yeah, I, I, I in practice, have never used chord definition, so I don't know, and I don't do rail, rail design. So maybe somebody here can answer that. We always, I always use arc definition. I don't know where they, I don't know where they use chord definition. Um, again, these are, these are the two equations that you'll see in your references. Um, oh, cool. Yeah. So yeah, I don't use, I personally in, in, in transportation, highway design don't use arc or chord definition. So the equation for chord definition, again, we're still in that same section. It's simple plug and chug. It really, all I want to hammer home here. Hammer home here is what the difference is, and whether you're looking at arc definition or chord definition. Um, so again, yeah, we can measure a chord much easier than we can measure an arc length, but that arc definition is is much more widely used. Uh, obviously, if we're out in a field, we can't you know really measure along an arc too well, but we can go between two points. That's pretty simple to do.